Hello there my awesome crypto friend. I trust you and your loved ones are in good health and high spirits. First things first, I've got to give you a big virtual high five for hanging out with me and checking out the first two video tutorials of my crypto investing crash course. If you haven't already binge watched those bad boys, I suggest you pause right now and catch up. We don't want any crypto formal here. And if you stumbled upon any hazards along, along the way, no worries. Just drop us a line in our trusty WhatsApp group. My name is Musa the Giant from Devon, South Africa. In this video tutorial, you and I are diving head first into the third video of our crypto investing crash course. I will teach you how to auto invest in the top five biggest cryptocurrencies in the world. Now, before we start, there is a tiny little detail you should have in order, and that's a bank account. Yep, we are at that stage, my friend. We are going to do some FNB account linking and auto buy crypto magic in this video tutorial. But here is a pro tip. I want you to watch this video tutorial at least once all the way through without doing anything and then go back and follow along step by step. That way we are dodging those costly mistakes like crypto ninjas. Are you ready? Let's do this. On your smartphone, please can you launch the Vala app? and log in. Now, if you haven't logged into your Vala account for a while, or if you logged out, you will be required to authorize this device. So just click open email. And then open an email from Vala. Scroll down a bit. and click on authorize this device. Vala will send you a text message to your registered cell phone number. Just enter that text message or pin. Before you know it, you will be looking at your Vala dashboard. The second thing that I need you to do is to open your bank app. For this demonstration, I'll be using FNB. So I will open and log into my FNB account, but you can use any bank that allows you to schedule payments. It should work just fine. So now I have two apps open side by side. I have my Vala account open and my FNB account open, right? Now let's go back to Vala. And I want you to click the auto buy button and make sure that you are on the home tab. Just click the home tab if it's not already clicked and then click on auto buy. And then quickly go through the information that is presented to you. Auto buy crypto is the easiest way to buy crypto directly from your bank account. As soon as we receive your funds, we will automatically buy crypto for you and credit it to your Vala account. Swipe to your left, to your right. We will provide you with a unique auto buy deposit reference. This is different to your regular cash deposit reference. All you have to do is to make an EFT payment using this beneficiary reference. Swipe again. Buy your desired crypto daily, weekly, or at any interval using auto buy. Just schedule a recurring EFT payments from your bank and we will do the rest. If you do not want to see this message again, you can check this box here and then click the I am ready button. Now, what will happen is that you will have a list of cryptocurrencies that you can auto buy on Vala. 
just click this down arrow you have bitcoin ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies obviously we're going to start with the biggest cryptocurrency in the world which is bitcoin so just click on a bitcoin and then you'll be represented with the notes let's just go through the notes quickly but very carefully auto buy limit pet deposit is what is 10,000 rents deposits exceeding this limit will be credited as za into your account number two deposit only from a bank account in your name number three don't deposit the same amount more than once per day and number four no cash no checks only EFTs accepted go down a bit very very important use this reference to automatically buy Bitcoin in this case because we selected Bitcoin simple buy trading fees will apply to auto buy Bitcoin make a deposit using the reference now notice that the reference begins with BTC which is a ticker symbol for Bitcoin right and then when you scroll down a bit you will see Vala Standard Bank account details now what you need to do is to just click on the account number to copy it and then switch to your bank account and because I am using FNB to demonstrate this if my FNB account is not displayed on your side maybe it's blacked out that is just for security reasons right so I am pressing the pay button now and then it will open another window I will press pay again and then press recipients and then click on add a recipient slash bill and then click specify account details and then select bank account I mean select bank branch and then remember that Vala banks with standard bank so select standard bank they are using it they have a check account so just click on check account and then give this recipient a name I will give mine auto dash buy BTC on Vala so this is for me to be able to identify these recipient easily amongst the recipient that already have and then remember we copied Vala account number from the Vala uh, app so I'm gonna paste it here and then press continue and then I need to choose the account I want to pay from because I have more than one account within my FNB account so I will press the smart account and then only reference and recipient reference now let us switch back to the Vala app now remember the reference is very very important just click on the reference once it will be copied to the clipboard switch back to your bank app where it says on reference just paste the reference you copied from Vala and where it says the recipient ref to be safe press the same reference as well press continue and then this is just the confirmation window that shows me that I am about to add auto buy BTC on VA as a recipient from my smart account and this is the account number this is the branch code bank name own ref and recipient ref and I said I didn't want the proof of payment right it, if everything is looking correctly please 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 double check the account number and the reference that are correctly if they are correctly just press confirm and as you can see it says you have successfully added um, auto buy BTC on VA as a recipient so that is part one of this formula right I'm not gonna pay now so I will just click on finish now I want to buy the top five biggest cryptocurrencies on Vala so I have added BTC which is Bitcoin let us now go back to the Vala exchange 
and then click the close button it takes us back to the home page click auto buy again click the down arrow now this time I want you to select Ethereum same information but a unique reference code so again just copy the account number switch back to your bank app add the recipient or bill specify account details select branch they are banking with standard bank check account account name i'm going to give this one auto buy auto dash buy this time i want it to buy ethereum so eth on vala i am now pasting the account number that i copied from vala continue the account is still good smart account in my case now i need to go back to copy the reference now notice that the ref this time the reference code is eth it begins with eth because this is now ethereum right so i have just copied the reference i'm going back to my fnb account i'm going to paste it in the own reference box and repeat it in this the recipient ref box as well just to be on the safe side and continue and then double check that everything is looking the way it's supposed to and then just click on confirm we have done that finish we have now added two recipients the first one is going to buy us bitcoin and the second one is going, to, is going to auto buy us ethereum let's go back to vala close this window press auto buy again click the currency down arrow and press xrp scroll down a bit copy the account number go back to your fnb account if you're using fnb add the recipient bill specify account details select branch the bank with standard bank check account i'm going to name this one auto buy auto dash buy xrp on vala and then paste the account number that i copied from vala continue own reference go back to vala copy the reference notice this time around that the reference begins with xrp for ripple copy the reference switch back to your bank app own reference paste xrp recipient ref paste the same reference continue and confirm finish go back to vala close the window click auto buy slide the down arrow this time i want you to select solana scroll down a bit Notice that the reference now begins with Sol. Copy the account number. Switch back to your FNB account. Add recipient. Account. Specify account details. Select branch. The bank which standard bank. Check account. This one we're gonna name it Auto Buy. Sol for Solana. On Vala. Account number. We just copied the account number on Vala, and we are pasting it here now continue reference go back to vala copy the solana reference it begins with sol switch back to your fnb app paste the reference in the own reference and in the recipient ref box continue confirm finish switch back to your vala account scroll down and, and close this window click auto buy again cryptocurrency now the last one i want us to select is avalanche it's the third from the bottom as of me recording this video tutorial so press on avalanche scroll down a little bit copy the account number switch back to your bank app add recipient specify account details select branch standard bank check we're going to name this one auto buy avex then we're going to paste the account number continue the account is still good i need to go and 
copy the reference this one begins with avex for avalanche reference is copied go back to your bank app paste it twice like so continue everything is good confirm all right so now once you have added all the recipients in this case we were adding uh, the cryptocurrencies that we want to auto buy on var the next step is to schedule payments right so let's just go to the home page and then scroll down a bit and then pay and then click on pay click on pay again scroll down and select schedule payments click the add button and then select existing recipient because we have already uh, created the recipients but we haven't scheduled payments yet so select existing recipient in my case the top one is called auto buy avex so i will click that one and select the account you want to pay from in my case i have two accounts within my fnb account so i will click and select smart account and then specify the amount you want to auto buy with every month in my case i'm going to do it every month remember you can start with as little as 50 rands right 50 rands 100 rands 300 rands 200 rands 500 rands 1000 all the way to wherever you can be able to afford right but for demonstration purposes i will schedule 500 rands and the reference is there you can see the reference so it's good just leave it schedule payments details schedule payment name so we're going to give it the same name it's called auto by avex on vala so that's the uh, scheduled payment name start date when do you want it to start I want my one to start on the 25th of October. And frequency, how often do you want this to happen? I want it to happen monthly, but if you want to do it once off, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly, in our demonstration, we're going to select monthly. Expiry, by default, it says no expiry. So if you want to do it indefinitely, you can leave it like that. But I would like to recommend that you do it for a minimum of six months, I would say. But the longer you do it, the more profit you would make over time. So for my one, I will select a number of payments. I want this to happen for the next 24 months, for two years, in other words. But as I said, you can just make it for three months, six months, 12 months, and so on and so forth. My one is for 24 months. Would you like to send a notification for this payment? You can turn this one on and specify your cell phone number. But for my one, I do not want no notifications. So I will just leave it off. Press continue. Now, this is the confirmation window for your scheduled payments. The account name, we named it auto buy Avex on VAR. This is the VA account number, branch code, account type, payment details. It comes from my smart account. The amount I want to pay every month is 500 rands. And the reference for myself and the recipient is the same. Scheduled payment details. The name of the scheduled payment is auto buy AVEX on VA. It will start. The start date is 25th of October 2003. It will happen monthly for the next 24 months. If you are happy with that, just press confirm. And just like that, we have done the first one. Let's go back to scheduled payments. 
press the add button existing recipient because we have already added it so we have done avex let us now do btc so select auto buy btc on val select the bank you want to pay from i'm selecting a smart account in my example specify the amount again you can start from 50 rents but in my case i will put 500 rents own references there, recipient references there, schedule payment details, schedule payment name. We're going to give it the easy name to identify this one. So it's going to be called auto buy. This one is for BTC for Bitcoin on Vala. Start date, same thing. My one, I want it to start on the 25th of October. So I will select October there. Frequency, frequency is monthly, expiry, I want it to run for 24 months, continue, double check everything and if everything is good, confirm, so we have completed the second one, let's go back to scheduled payments, add existing recipient, this time we're going to go and select auto buy ETH on VAR from my smart account, amount 500. It doesn't have to be the same amount across all of them. It can be 50 rent on one, 150 on other, 500, 1000, any amount that you are comfortable with. Schedule payment details, schedule uh, payment name, Auto buy if on Vala frequency uh, start date is 25th of October. Number of payments 24. Continue and confirm finish we have two more to go go back to scheduled payments add existing let's choose xrp from my smart account amount Scheduled payment name. Start date. Frequency monthly. Expiry. Number of payments. Continue and confirm. Finish. So I think at this point we have added all five cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, and AVEX. Actually, we didn't do AVEX. So let's go to schedule payments. Add. I actually think we did AVEX, right? So I will double check later. But basically, I think you now understand how to go about uh, scheduling payments on your bank app. You could be using FNB, Standard Bank, APSA, NetBank, Capitec, any bank that allows you to schedule payments just to as I showed you. All right. So what will happen is that on the 25th of every month in my example, 500 trends will be paid to my VAR account for each cryptocurrency that we selected and it will, it will automatically be purchased without me doing anything. So that's automated. So that means when I go to wallets after the 25th of every month, I will see my diversified crypto portfolio, crypto portfolio growing each and every single month. Just like what uh, just like what happened on the 27th of September, as you can see on the 27th of September, BTC was purchased automatically for me, Solana, XRP, Ethereum and 
AVEX and I was not even in the country on the 27th of September I was in Dubai but because I set things up to just uh, happen automatically just like I showed you in this video uh, Vala did exactly that without me being here so if you do the same thing as well it does not matter how much you are starting with remember the minimum is only 50 rands per crypto per month that you can allocate and um, if at any given point in time you happen to need your money you can easily sell any of your cryptocurrencies for czar which is south african rents and then cash out back to your bank but obviously in order for you to see some good results you need to be consistent you need to be disciplined uh, over time i am positive that you will see some good results because this is uh, not trading this is not gambling this is investing in cryptocurrencies through a very very secure and legit uh, cryptocurrency wallet which is Vala. So I uh, hope this video has been able to open your eyes to what is possible when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency investing and um, I hope that you are going to take this seriously and if you did find it uh, useful or informative please consider sharing it with as many people as you possible can. Um, obviously I will also be recording more bank specific video tutorials as well like for instance showing you how to do the same thing on your standard bank account if you use your standard bank account on your Capitec if you use Capitec. Uh, NetBank, if you use NetBank and many other banks that you might be using out there, please just, uh, you know, uh, ask me how to do it uh, and then I will uh, do my best to show you how to do it in using your own bank. So with all of that being said, my name is Mosa the Giant from Durban, South Africa. My mission is to onboard at least 10,000 new participants in the crypto investing uh, space. So I appreciate you for being here and I respect your time and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.